Hello guys. Hi. We are from group 7. Consists of me, Andre, Agrita, Feli, Kezia, and Koatso. Today, do you guys know what we are going to talk about? No? No. No, no, no. I don't know. Today we are going to talk about the strong sperm that penetrates women ovary and cause pregnancy in women during during in the swimming pool. So let's check it out. Okay. We already introduced who are the member in this group, right? Now we return to the previous topic. Okay. The statement uh, was said by Miss Siti Hipawati in the interview with local media tribunenews.com. She is the Commissioner for Health, Narcotics, and Additive Substances at the Indonesian Pro Child Protection Commission. Uh, we already know what is it, KPAI. And if we already see the video from her where she is in the interview, in the 8 minutes video of the interview, she first talked about the grazing uh, in, uh, in world abortion rate and then um, the cause of abortions and then and child protections then in the minutes to uh, 2.05 and the interviewer asked her about KPA prevention program to prevent free sex in the teenagers that could lead to teenagers pregnancy and here is a quote of her answer for a question that leads to blacklist and ridicule from the public Okay, I will speak what she said. There is an especially strong type of maelstrom that may cause pregnancy in the swimming pool. Uh, even with penetration, men may become sexually excited by women in the pool and ejaculate, therefore causing a pregnancy. If women are in a place where they are sexually active, such a pregnancy, may occur. No one knows for sure how men react to the sight of women in a swimming pool. And even though she did talk about the importance of sexual education for teenagers, her bizarre statement about pregnancy in swimming pools without penetration received a strong response. It is because she got statement in the interview as a commissioner of KPI. She is not a professor put in a high position in KPI. She is a commissioner and she definitely has a high degree of education but she is talking not based on the data and the science uh, and then we will talk about the, how how is the reaction from Indonesia the news about getting pregnant after swimming become a hot topic in Indonesia there are a lot of funny reaction to the video this is due to the fact that many people who easily believe without finding out how the process actually is. There are two sides in responding this video. First, from unedu uneducated people. They give opinions that they scare of what happened and afraid to swim with males and become a hot gossip in their neighborhood. And protect their children, especially their daughter, and prohibit their children to swim with males, and make their kids use a tighter swimming suit. The second one, from educated people, they give an opinions that Miss Hikmawati said doesn't make sense. For fact, there are many Indonesian who desire to have offspring but it is very hard for them this absurd thing only happened in Indonesia and there is no academic research published yet on this case like that what Miss Hikmawati said is stupid I think that this might be opportunity to build their spirited boys and girls swimming pool Overall, most educated people will not believe, but uneducated people are afraid toward this matter. People who told these to be stupid created jokes like they graduated from S.perm and strongsperm.mp3 or some men like Diamond 
and etc. This issue is not only viral in Indonesia, but it also becomes viral in the UK, in South Korea, and also in France. This leads to a backlash from the politician and also the public, as Ibu Hikmawati's statement really embarrassed Indonesia. Here we got some news from the Chinese media, and here we got some news from the Mail Online, and the last one is news created by Emma Parker about the strong sperm that pregnant women. Hi, I'm Felicia. So, okay guys, now I will continue the explanation after all of this mess that Andre has explained before. So, after all of this mess, she apologized from the public for her statement, which is not based on scientific facts, and she just blurred it out without the second talk or the negative effect, which could influence the uneducated uh, Indonesia. However, uh, she needs to face her consequence, which is to attain the ethical trial. People who are fortunate enough to have a higher education like us might know this fact that the sperm could only easily penetrate on women's ovary or fertilized egg. But people with low education uh, might not Uh, might get caught on this information so sh- uh, they will believe the uh, this hoax and share it to their friends to their colleges or to their family while not checking the truth behind this fact the public announcements of this mistaken information totally ruins the image of Indonesia globally especially because the announcement is announced by a person with the high title in Indonesia KPAI oh what a shame in a developed nation sex education is a normal thing to be discussed and it, it is not considered as taboo like in Indonesia so as you see I will show you this okay So, if you have a high education, maybe you will make a joke for her statement. Just like this. Olok-olok netizen untuk KPAI renang bisa hamil. This is the people with higher education. They said, Hati-hati banjir Jakarta, takutnya sperma berenang menghamili orang sejakarta. Yeah, this is the people with high education. But how if you don't have any proper education, guys? I will show you this. Okay, it is from the tick, the tick hell, the tick. How if educated, in educated person read this and they believe it? Can you imagine? It will ruin the image of Indonesia in the world eyes, right? Okay, after watching that fact, that uh, that two facts, so our group thinks that the state's official should be responsible to discuss this. topic openly and maturely admit this ongoing issue we use the chance to know more about uh, the process of getting pregnant okay so my friend agrita as a doctor will explain it to you hi agrita here let's use this controversial issue as a chance for us to learn more about the real process of human reproduction how is the process for women to get pregnant let's um let's open the talk about this and what i will explain uh in the, in the next minute is not a problem and it's not a form it's a part of sexual education i will try to explain Uh, I will try to explain it as simply for you to understand. Let's go inside. Okay, I will start explaining. Uh, first time, I will show you the reproductive organ of male and female. So, this is the male reproductive organ. This is the penis. And uh, this is the body of the penis, we call it corpus penis And this is the glands of the penis and this is the scrotum And the little thing here is the, we call it external meatus of urethra, this is the urethra opening And this is 
deep female reproductive organ. And this is the vagina, and we can take a look inside uh, inside this. So this is the vagina wall. On top of the vagina, we call it cervix. In Bahasa, we call it leherahim. And this is the uterus. We have the lining here, the inner lining called endometrium. This is the fallopian tube, and this is the fimbri, and this is the ovario. The very first process to start our reproduction is called mapping or coitus. This is when the penis enters the vagina. During this process, our brain prepares both of this organ. And in female, the vaginal wall becomes become enlarged and lubricate itself. While in male, the muscle of penis filled with blood and become erect. The stimulation of the penis causes an orgasm and the cement which contains seminal plasma and sperm cells will release into the vagina. And this is called ejaculation. and embryo development. The last process is implantation. Let's take a look here. For the sperm transport, the sperm must be capable of propelling themselves through the environment of the female vagina and cervix. The sperm is alkaline, while the vagina is acidic. So, the semen will form a gel that protects it from the acidic environment of the vagina. 20 until 30 minutes later, the gel will purify and free the sperm cell so that the millions of sperm cells can go into the top of the vagina, go into the uterine to the cervix. The uterine contraction will propel the sperm upward into the fallopian tube. This is the fallopian tube. And the motile sperm can survive in the female reproductive tract for up to 5 days. In female, there's a process called ovulation. Ovulation is the process ovum or egg are released by the ovaries. The ovum then get picked up by the fimbri of the fallopian tube. If there is any ovum released when the sperm is in the fallopian tube, they can meet. And then, the million of sperm will meet only one egg, and only one sperm cell can break through the egg membrane. And then, their nucleus which is the center of the cell contains DNA will meet each other. This is called fertilization and it means the female is pregnant by now. Following the ovulation, the egg is capable of fertilization for only 12 until 24 hours. Once the sperm cell fertilizes an egg cell, it becomes a zygote. Zygote is an egg that has been fertilized and possesses half the DNA of the sperm and the egg. One day after fertilization, the zygote keep divides itself to form a very tiny ball called embryo, which will go downward to the uterus and attach itself to the walls of uterus. This is called implantation. Implantation process begin at day five until day six, and the implantation process completed by day eight until nine. And then the embryo will grow there and become a fetus eight weeks after fertilization. The fetus will keep growing, and after nine months, the fetus is fully developed and ready to be born. Now, let's get to our topic. The question is Is it possible for a woman to get pregnant without penetration if there is a sperm inside the spinning pulse? The first one is, the sperm can live up to 5 days inside the woman's body, but it only survives a few minutes outside the woman's body. The second one is, uh, the sperm transport process needs an ideal environment for the sperm to stay alive. So, the chance, the chance of the sperm to make it through the water and go into the vagina is very low because of the temperature, because of the chemical like chlorine, 
it will kill the sperm within seconds. So getting pregnant in this case is highly unlikely. It's nearly impossible. Oh my god, we are pregnant because we yesterday swim in a swimming pool with a bunch of men. <laughs> So guys, from the previous discussion, we can see that it is important to have a sex education. And also, we need to be responsible for every part of our speech. And no hoax. See you guys.